Well, the Infocom Media Development Authority removed parts of Mr Tan Kinlin's original televised campaign speech as it contained inaccuracies about the president's role. Out of the recording, IMDA asked the presidential candidate to correct some of his original script. It said Mr Tan's election agent had corrected them without objection. Now, during his walkabout at Senja this morning, Mr Tan said he disagreed with IMDA's decision but complied because of a deadline. I consider these, three, these statements to be the, in, the most important part of my speech. I consider the IMDA does not have the authority to interpret the Constitution in their way and ask for the statements to be removed. I do not have time to argue about that. I remove this statement and I will deal with IMDA separately. Mr Tan also claimed the preparations for the televised speech were, quote, very rushed. But in a joint statement, the Elections Department and IMDA said candidates were informed of the presidential candidate broadcast timings and rules on the 12th of August and were also briefed on the 21st of August. Both agencies said all candidates signed a statutory declaration on their nomination paper, confirming that they had read the material that explains the president's constitutional role. They added that all candidates have also signed a voluntary undertaking to campaign for the election in a manner befitting a president's position. They remind them not to mislead the public about the president's role.